Hey there, hi there, ho there. Hope you're still good. Hope you're still fine. Hope you're still safe. Hope you're still well. Black lives still matter. That still hasn't changed. And again, we'll never change. So, how are you? Uh, I had made a video in like a day for Saturday, and then I spent a little bit of time with some friends. Um, socially distancing, of course. We made some ratatouille, and yeah. So, <laughs> shout out to my besties. Uh, anyway, um, I was going to do something different, but you know how this always goes. I plan something and then something else happens. So I decided, why not let's just doodle my uh, OCs, because it's been a while and you've only seen them in passing if you've watched my Stikino stuff. So uh, you'll see too today, uh, the first one is Reed. They are one of my older ones. I made them at the beginning of college. They were originally going to be for a comic I was going to do with a friend, but we decided not to do it and stuff happened, so eh, it's- they're- they're kind of just in existence and I have like a whole backstory for them. They're just a sad, sad person. Uh, <laughs> until they meet uh, another character that you'll see in a bit, but um, so this is, as I said, Reed. I made them originally, actually for a Homestuck thing, and then I didn't do that because stuff happened, and then they got repurposed to be for another comic, and then that didn't happen for other reasons, not too bad, but the first one was pretty good. And then I kind of just used them here and there for uh, story stuff. I've used them in a D&D &D game. They are just one of those characters that I'm very attached to. Uh, <laughs> their whole thing is like they play video games and they're just angry a lot and also they, they like they want to have friends, but they're awful about that. Their one friend I did not draw uh, is Kaz. He's not... Uh, I don't draw him too often. He's a little based on a character that was originally part of a, the first comic thing, but then he became my own character. Like I think the only thing that really stayed the same was maybe some of his design. And I think because he's like an art character, so that's, that's a thing. Uh, the second character uh, I'm very attached to. Uh, her name is uh, L Lala or Leilani. Uh, she's a great character. <laughs> she's one of my favorites just because I realized halfway through working on different characters that I could make a character Filipina and there's nothing to stop me. So yeah, you know, growing up seeing only white characters on TV and in stuff or assuming things like that, you don't really think about it until you actually sit down and do the thing. So like, representation's important, y'all. Advent- uh, not Adventure Time. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender was the first one that really got me to kind of think outside of stuff because I saw like a brown female lead on TV as a main character for probably the first time when I was younger. Uh, Tucker Foley was technically like a big character for me when I was growing up, but it was very, very much um, Katara and Sokka were really important to me, like whether I really realized it or not. And then also I got attached to Zuko because he's voiced by Dante Bosco and Dante Bosco is Filipino. So you get really attached to these kinds of characters. I got really attached to characters like Mulan and Jasmine because uh, Mulan's Asian and like, I mean, she's Chinese, of course, but like, there's, I w I'm not Chinese, oh, I'm kind of Chinese, but <laughs> I'm mostly Filipino. Um, so that's a thing. I am very attached to Lala because she originally started off as just a random character and then I drew the two of them next to each other and was like, oh, now they kiss. <laughs> And she's just a sweet, good, lovable, beautiful girl. <laughs> I don't know, I just- I think I draw a lot of styles that I wish I could wear on her. Um, she has like sweaters a lot and skirts and stuff. And I mean, I could wear sweaters and skirts, but one, I do not like wearing skirts outside of really dressy occasions. And I live in a desert, so the amount of time that I can wear a sweater is very limited. <laughs> Uh, Reed's whole style is one shirt, one pants, 
and the jacket thing that they wear all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep this short, so, or at least the talky bit. Uh, I also still have a shop open if you are interested in anything that I have made. And if you don't see stuff on that shop, uh, that's okay. You can just ask me and let me know if you're interested in that stuff. I've also started up a Fiverr. If you're in, if you want a chibi of your D and D character or anything like that, uh, hit me up. I'll put a link in the description. I'm gonna have a Patreon soon, cause it'd be nice to, you know, make some, earn some stuff on the work that I do. It would probably just be like a one five ten sort of thing. And you'd get art and you'd get to see more of the stuff that I make because I doodle a lot. I don't post a lot of- I don't post everything online. So you'd probably get to see some art, you get some shoutouts. Uh, I'm planning on having a once a month thing where uh, $10 Patreons would get like a character art thing that they can choose every month. So we'll, we'll get that going uh, as soon as I have other stuff. And yeah, I still have uh, the sale going for also the keychains if anybody's interested. All proceeds for those will go to a Beirut charity. I think there's another one that I saw. I gotta double check. I'll link it below. If you're not interested in getting a keychain out of it, just uh, you can go straight to the donation link for Beirut because uh, lots of stuff happened there and they're in a lot of trouble and there's a lot of people that are hurting and stuff. So, that's a thing. Um, this week is going to be quick just because I'm doing this at 8.42pm and I have to have a video kind of rendered by about midnight to make it reasonable for me to post it tomorrow. So, I have a plan for Friday. I'm pretty sure it's- I know for sure it's not going to be na na na. I have another idea, but it is Umbrella Academy related because I'm still really into Umbrella Academy. I'm sorry guys. So, I will also have a post for probably my Animal Crossing Island dream code if anybody is interested in seeing it. I've had a lot of fun doing it. And I think that is it. I'm sorry, I rambled a lot more. So. Uh, I also have plans for video game stuff. That'll be fun. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like the video if you're interested in more speed paints. And also like the video if you're interested in some like art lessons on here, because I can do those. I haven't done them yet, but I can, I can definitely teach you guys a little bit about the theory of art. So, yeah. Okay. I'll catch you on Friday.